The chemical properties of atoms are determined by how many electrons their outer electron shells need in order to be filled. If this outer shell is filled, the atom will be chemically stable. Two examples of such stable atoms are helium and neon, shown here. Helium's outer electron shell holds only two electrons, and so it is stable. Neon has two electrons in this first shell, and an additional eight electrons in the next shell. These eight electrons completely fill the shell, so neon is stable as well. As atoms have more protons, they must also have more electrons to balance the charge. These electrons are in shells that all hold specified numbers of electrons. When they are filled, the atoms are stable. If they are not filled, then they must gain electrons by forming chemical bonds with other atoms. Atoms with an almost full outer shell, such as chlorine shown here, can fill the shell by gaining an electron. This will leave the atom with a negative charge as it will have more electrons than protons. We call charged atoms ions. If the chlorine atom shown gains one electron, it will have a charge of negative one. Atoms with few electrons in the outermost shell, like sodium shown here, can lose these electrons more easily to end up with a filled shell. This will leave the atom with a positive charge because it will have more protons than electrons. If the sodium atom shown loses an electron, it will have a net charge of positive one. When atoms such as chlorine carry a negative charge, we call them negative ions. When atoms such as sodium carry a positive charge, we call them positive ions. These ions are then attracted to each other because of their opposite charges, and they can form an ionic bond. Such compounds form extensive crystalline networks. The crystal we have just formed is common table salt, sodium chloride.